Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Abbott's Address. Today is November 3rd, 2015. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about membership at the temple and how it works. Uh, there's been some folks coming around that have been wondering how to get involved and how this all works. So it's actually pretty simple. Uh, the, the first thing is that anybody is welcome to visit for as long as they want to at the temple, and that's fine. You know, people can uh, can visit, and that's totally fine. Um, but at a certain point, people start feeling, some people start feeling like this is a community that they would like to formally recognize their, their association with and take more of a share in the community life. And so for that, we have memberships. Now, to be clear about it, uh, the, the temple is sustained by the members. We, we don't have a huge endowment or anything like this. There's no long history of uh, Buddhist temples in Toledo that we <laughs> we have some benefit of or anything like that. So we're, we're very much brought to ourselves by ourselves. Uh, and so the way it works is that someone uh, who's been visiting enough to feel like this is the place of relevance for them and they want to be a member, they can become a member. And the way it works is very simple. Um, you have to, first of all, agree to the Sangha Covenant, uh, and that's a very important thing. That, that basically is a statement of values and how we vow to relate to each other. So that's one thing. The second thing is that a person needs to uh, make an annual pledge or a commitment to financially support the temple. Now, what we do once a year is we have an annual canvas, and that's a big deal, and that usually comes right around the new year. We, we sort of synchronize it with the, uh, the calendar year, and it, you know, probably sometime pretty soon the Leadership Council will start with uh, letting people know about this and reminding them and so on. Um, but you don't have to wait for the annual canvas to become a member. People join as members all the time, and so basically what we do is we ask you to consider what is a a reasonable contribution for you and your household given your situation and um, whatever amount that is uh, in a given year uh, then you make a, a, a an intention to donate that much a pledge and then um, begin uh, filling in the pledge now some some folks they do this annually they they uh, they're in a situation where they just once a year uh, when the reminder comes around they write a check for the year and boom it's done uh, some people make contributions a couple times a year, quarterly, monthly. Some people do it a little bit at a time, weekly or as they can. You know, it's very flexible. Um, but what we do ask for is that there's some kind of a pledge, some kind of a realistic pledge that says, okay, this is as much as is pledged and the temple can therefore function and function. You know, so we've got to pay rent and lights and all this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, if you're starting somewhere in the middle of the year or a couple of months before the canvas begins, then you just kind of estimate, you know, what do you think you would be able to contribute over the patent until the, the year's end and make that contribution for the year, and then that would be it. Um, so that you're not hearing me say anything about, like, this is how much it costs, because we don't, we don't function that way. It's not a fee-for-service kind of situation, uh, and there's no minimum requirement. Um, there is on the website a very interesting chart that holds up uh, what different incomes are and then different percentages of that. I think two, three, four, five percent or something is a guideline. And so it's kind of an interesting table. You can kind of look and see, you know, if someone was making $10,000 a year and they decided to give 2% of their annual income, this is what that number would actually look like for the year and, you know, different numbers like that. Um, but, you know, there's no set. There's no set amount, but there is a, an insistence or a hope for uh, actually making a pledge and then following through with that. Now, of course, it happens that some people make a pledge based on their current financial situation, and then the situation changes. Uh, they get a big promotion, and they've got a lot more cash, and they want to donate more, and that's fine. Of course, you can do that. Please do. <laughs> or the other way, you know, you make a pledge, and then things change in a way that's not as flexible, and you need to back down. That's okay. The main thing is just communicating. So uh, membership is, you know, it's really saying that this is the community that I'm a part of. Uh, there's a sense that the, the shopping is done, you know, that this is a, this is a place of center. Uh, of course, people who are members here can have and do have relationships with the, the faith tradition of their, 
uh, heritage or other practices that are interesting and helpful to them, and of course that's fine. Uh, but there's an acknowledgement of a membership here and taking it on as a personal, you know, place. So I hope that clarifies or helps. Uh, you can join anytime. There are membership forms that are hanging out in the lobby kind of waiting area at the temple. Uh, grab one, fill it out, um, you know, and make your best guess about what you'll be able to contribute within this calendar year. And uh, off and running. There we go. Okay, thank you everybody. I uh, hope you find this useful and we will see you in the Zendo.